Today on HME, we are going to talk about Apple's latest Mac Mini, which is powered by the new 8 core M1 chip, and we now also get to know the pricing of this device. And if you miss going for a marathon, Oppo has recently opened up registrations for their upcoming virtual ride. To find out more about it, remember to stay tuned to our episode of Ichimi. If you're looking for a used car, Proton has recently introduced its certified pre-owned car website which now allows you to browse through available stocks from 36 dealers nationwide. On top of that, these Proton certified vehicles also comes with extended warranty as well as additional perks. According to Proton, the used car management division was introduced to process customer trade-in cars more efficiently. It started as a pilot project with 8 Proton outlets and now it has expanded to 36 outlets that support the Proton certified pre-owned program. The dealership must meet several criteria both financial and physical as well as agree to perform necessary steps to prepare their trade-in car for sale. This includes a comprehensive 201-point inspection, providing a new battery, engine oil and oil filter. The certified pre-owned vehicles must be less than 7 years old with less than 130 kilometers of mileage at the time of trade-in. The vehicles must be free from any damage which may affect the structural integrity. Ever since the rise of COVID-19, we have seen tons of virtual meetings as well as virtual events. But have you guys heard of virtual runs? Well, it seems like Oppo is having a virtual run of their own and they are now open for registration. Oppo says that the marathon will be a chance for you to test your limits against yourself. So how this works is that you'll be running a total distance of 5, 10, 21 or 42 kilometers on your own and you need to share your results via any app or wearable before winning. The registration period is now open until the 12th of December 2020 and the competition will run from the 13th of December 2020 till the 3rd of January 2021. In order to win prizes worth up to 42,000, you will need to accumulate as many kilometers as possible during the running period. The result submission is from the 13th of December until the 8th of January 2021. For the basic package, the registration is for free. Until the 21st of November 2020, registration for early birds is priced at 49 ringgit, or you can register until the 12th of December 2020 for 59 ringgit. You'll receive a starter kit with a running t-shirt and an Oppo e-voucher. Meanwhile, premium category finishers will receive a virtual cert along with an AR medal and a physical drawstring bag. And if you're interested to register, you can click the link which I'll provide down in the description box below. Big Pay is among the 8 companies that got approval from Malaysia's Ministry of Housing and Local Government to provide online loans. The approval for Big Pay latest Sendiran Berhad was announced on Friday during the Online Money Lending Guideline virtual session. Asia Group CEO Tony Fernandez has posted on Instagram that Big Pay has received provisional license for lending and users will soon be able to apply for fast loans at low interest rates. He told Bernama that the approval was a lifeline to Big Pay and he hoped that it would provide people with a chance to do business and have a decent life. He added that the financing will be available to the B40 group and the aim is to get loans approved as soon as possible. Although B40 would be the biggest beneficiary from the approval, the financing will also be made available to other groups as well. And last but not least, we are going to talk about the Apple's Mac Mini. Yup, this is Apple's most versatile computer that's powered by an 8-core M1 chip which supposedly offers 3 times faster performance compared to the previous generation. Apple says that the M1 also enables the Mac Mini to handle graphic-heavy tasks with a graphics performance increase of 6 times. This should be handy for users who plan to use Apple's latest computer for performance-intensive tasks such as 3D rendering. Meanwhile, Apple also says that machine learning performance has been improved with 15 times the speed of the previous generation. Plus, the Mac Mini is also now cheaper. Apple released the previous generation Mac Mini back in 2018 at a price of 3,449 ringgit with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Now the new Mac Mini is priced at 2,999 ringgit and you can upgrade to a 512 gig SSD at a price of 3,799 ringgit. However, since the official pricing has already been revealed, this device should be available in Malaysia soon. And as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you can stay updated to our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!